Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, and welcome to DC Fans United. So today I am continuing my series of reviews by taking a look back at Countdown to Final Crisis number 25. So I've been counting this down from issue 51 up to this point, so you can check out the playlist of all my other previous reviews of those with a link in the description box. So this issue I thought was really great. I like the cover. Let's check out the cover. Very colorful, very dynamic. It's got a a lot of action and as you can see these are the atomic knights there and they are fighting firestorm so this is something that actually does happen in the comic which makes it that much better and i just think it's really well done i like it a lot I think of the different covers we've had so far, it's definitely one of the best. And this cover was done by Claudio Castelletti, and this book was written by Paul Dini, with the pencils being done by Ron Lim. So we're going to go ahead and start off on the first page, and we see Firestorm here, and he's with Karate Kid and a few others who are with Karate Kid, and they're all there in Bloodhaven, so we see that on the next page they are confronted by the Atomic Knights. So what's going on here is Bloodhaven is in ruins and Karate Kid has terminal illness and the previous issues have led him around on a quest essentially to find a cure for it and this part has led him here. So they dug up this place, well actually Firestorm kind of blasted their way through, but there's a secret place hidden underneath and they think there's a cure for Karate Kid there. But they get confronted by the Atomic Knights who are in charge of basically guarding Bloodhaven and they say it's a restricted area and they have to leave and then the scene changes. So we're catching up with the Trickster and the Piper, who are still on the run. They've been on the run for, gosh, I don't know, like 20, 30 issues now, <laughs> and they're still being chased. So Deadshot's after him in a helicopter, and he shoots their car with a missile, and it flips over, and he gets out and confronts them, and they escape yet again. So <laughs> then we change scenes. So Jimmy Olsen is on Apocalypse, believe it or not. He went there with the second Forager, because they're on this whole other side story, because the new gods, some of them have been, well, a lot of them have been getting killed, and they're trying to figure out why. And also find out where their souls are going, because uh, someone's also capturing the souls of the new gods who are being killed. But anyways, Jimmy's here on Apocalypse, and they're going to kill him, but right when the guy's about to do so, the guard gets destroyed, and the overseer says... Dark side has marked you for whatever reason, so Jimmy Olsen is safe, sort of, but Dark side knows he's there. So then we change the page and we see Dark side himself. So Eclipso has brought Mary Marvel to him. She's been going through a whole story arc of essentially turning evil. As you can see, she's wearing a black outfit now. And Darkseid says, come to me, child, and no true darkness. So, looks like Mary's gonna be working for Darkseid, potentially. Pretty crazy. And I thought the art on this was really good. I'm not familiar with Ron Lim, but this is definitely one of the better drawn issues. I mean, a lot of the issues have good art, but some of them it's a little just not quite as good, so I thought this one was particularly well drawn and colored. So we go to the next page, and we're back to the fight. So, so the Atomic Knights are fighting Firestorm since they didn't want to leave, so Karate Kid starts helping and beats up a bunch of the atomic knights but he's got a really bad illness too so they end up almost capturing him but then firestorm turns the oxygen i guess that the atomic knights are breathing into ether he says but only enough to knock them out okay so then they are able to get inside of the underground facility that they wanted to check out and they explore it and they find a really hardcore door that was apparently, let's see, Firestorm says, heck of a door, it is state of the art technology and beyond that he blasts his way through. Then we get this big reveal when they get through. So the original Firestorm is in there and Dasad, you know, Darkseid's minion, has got 
Dr. Stein all hooked up and he looks like he is torturing him. So Firestorm flies at him, but he gets put inside of a like pink electrical jail cell thing and he tries to get out and blasts it but when that happens it causes this reaction and we see on the final page this big full page that now Desaad has the powers of Firestorm it says God help us Desaad is Firestorm so that's how the issue ends uh, it's pretty crazy uh, I do think this last page looks really cool so uh, basically there's an evil Firestorm now and yeah, the art was really good, the story is pretty good. And then there's a bonus two pages at the end, which are also really well drawn. The penciler on this is Jamal Eigel. Wow, I know uh, we've been hearing about him a lot on Twitter, so that, that's really surprising. But you know, looking at this, he's a pretty good penciler. So what this is, is the origin of Killer Frost. And yeah, just a little backstory about her. And it's really good. I love when they do these bonus pages. They're at the end of a lot of the countdown issues all right so that's all for now we're going to be doing a live stream tomorrow evening depending where you are but definitely check that out it's going to be pretty cool we're going to be talking about the new 52 animated movies from dc so there ended up being 10 of them all together so that worked out quite well it's going to be a top 10 myself and another guy we're going to run through our favorites so that's going to be at 9 p.m eastern time 5 p.m pacific i hope you guys can make it all right that's all for now thanks for watching please subscribe if you aren't subscribed i try and put out content every day it ends up being like every day or every other day but i try my best so that's all for now thanks for watching and as always thank you for being a part of dc fans united End of line.